What's up, beautiful entrepreneurs? Okay, you asked and you shall receive. A lot of you in really enjoyed my last body oil formulation video, so I wanted to come with the elevated version of the body oil. I think you're gonna really love this recipe, it's awesome. So let's get right into the video. Okay, first let's get into the recipe. Now, of course I'm gonna have the full recipe down below so that you're able to try it out and I'll have all the percentages for each ingredient. Now the first ingredient is going to be sunflower oil and I'm gonna have this in there at 20%. I also have sweet almond oil at 20% as well. Now with the sunflower oil and sweet almond oil, these are gonna be your primary oils um, that are going to be the highest, really the highest percentage of oils. And sunflower oil is going to be really lightweight it really helps with um, any redness and helps with sunburns as well. And it really helps to uh, smooth the skin and really lock in moisture. And with the sweet almond oil, it's a really great oil for um, for acne, helps to unclog your pores. Um, it's really great for your hair as well. So it can be a really good uh, care, um, carry oil for hair oil. And so these are really good oils just to have as a base for this elevated recipe. And next we're going to have jojoba oil, which is a more of like a thicker consistency. And it's a really great oil that's um, antibacterial, antifungal. Um, it also helps to really lock in moisture. It's a really good oil if you're worried about any like allergic reactions to your body oil. Um, there's um, really very rare allergic reactions when it comes to jojoba oil. And it's a really good secondary oil to add into your formula. It's really thick and it really adds a lot of great benefits to your body oil. Okay, then we have castor oil, which is going to also be at 10%. Now with castor oil, there's you know two different kinds that you can really see on the market. There's a Jamaican black castor oil and then there's regular standard castor oil. I'm gonna be using regular standard castor oil in this recipe, but um, with the uh, Jamaican black castor oil is going to be a lot thicker than the uh, regular uh, castor oil. It just has more of like a thicker consistency. And so if you're gonna use that, I would actually maybe take that down by half and only use 5% of the Jamaican black castor oil just because of how thick of a consistency it is. But with um, castor oil, it's a really good um, oil for um, for acne. It really helps to soothe your skin. It really is great for any sunburns or any like imperfections that you have on your skin. It helps to clear your skin as well. So it's a really great oil. You don't need a lot of it. Uh, so that's why I have it at a 10% rate within the body oil, but it really helps to give Give your body oil that really nice um, soothing soft feel so I love castor oil in this recipe as well now this next ingredient is really great because it really helps to elevate this recipe now, I love the secondary oils because it also elevates it with the benefits of the jojoba, jojoba oil and the castor oil but cocoa caprolate is a really great ingredient to add it's an emollient ester that helps to dry but also leave a silky finish when it comes to your body oil so it's not going to add an, an additional oily feel to your oil it's actually going to add more of a soothing effect now when it comes to the usage rate of cocoa caprolate it's going to be 2 to 25 percent which is a really um, big gap but um, depending on the feel that you're looking for you can add like more or less so for in this recipe I'm going to be using 15 percent so I thought it'd be good to kind of go in the middle and then from there if it's too dry or if you feel like it's not silky enough, you can add more or you can take away. But um, in this recipe, I'm gonna use 15% and this will really help to leave your skin feeling more silky smooth and not add a more oily feel to the body oil. And I think that's really important, especially since we really advertise our body oils as being lightweight and you know um, fast moisturizing. So you wanna have an, an additional ingredient that isn't going to necessarily add more of an oily element, but add take away more of the oiliness and leave it more of a dry feel on your skin now the next ingredient is going to be caprolic triglyceride now this ingredient is uh, derived from coconut oil and glycerin 
Now, it's not to be mistaken for coconut oil because this is not coconut oil. And when you kind of look at the two of them together, you can tell that it's different. It's derived from coconut oil. So don't get that instead for a replacement because it won't be the same. Now, um, Capilla triglyceride has been around for, you know, over 50 years used in skincare products. So it's a really great ingredient that helps to replenish the skin, helps to soothe the skin. It kind of helps to counteract the oiliness that you typically would feel and even, you know, your body butters, lotions, and in oils. So it's a really good ingredient to add to counteract the oily feel that you have. So I added this ingredient to help with the oiliness from the um, castor oil and the jojoba oil since those are really thick oily oils. Adding these ingredients in there will help to counteract that to make the oil feel a lot more smooth, luxurious, and smooth on the skin. And that's really kind of what you're looking for. You don't want anything that's going to be too oily or too thick over the skin and that's going to moisturize easily. So by adding in those thicker oils and the capillary triglyceride, it will help to even that out across the board for your oil. Okay, so next up I have two vitamin oils I'm going to be added in, adding into this formula. So we have vitamin A, which is going to be at 4%. Now vitamin A is an excellent oil to add into any of your body oil recipes. Retinol is actually derived from vitamin A. And I know retinol is a buzzword in the skincare community. Everyone loves to use retinol, especially for facial products, but it's also really great for your overall skin because vitamin A, now you have the full source of from vitamin A of helping to uh, reduce wrinkles, to help tighten the skin and get rid of some of the sackiness in your skin. And it really helps to make your skin look a lot more plump and it makes your skin feel a lot more luxurious as well. So it's a really great add-in oil. Um, it also helps with um, hyperpigmentation. So if you have uh, any sunburns, um, it also helps with that as well. So it's an excellent oil. It really helps to firm up your skin. After adding it, because I never really use vitamin A oil or retinol in any of my skincare products, but after using vitamin A oil, I even found that for my own skin, that my skin started to feel a lot more tighter. It started to look a lot better as well. And it just felt more radiant and uh, beautiful. So I just love the way that vitamin A oil made my skin look and feel so I think it's something that you can definitely look into because I think it'll be a great oil to add into your formula then of course we have a good old vitamin E which we all know is important in all of our skincare products when you have oil because it helps to um, it's an antioxidant that helps to extend the shelf life essentially of your body oil or your body butter because it helps so for the oils not to go rancid and then you could get that nasty smell that you sometimes get when you have old oil so definitely add in vitamin E. It is not an option. You need to have vitamin E oil in your products. Now, y'all, after putting all of this together, I have to say I was very impressed with this body oil recipe. I feel like it really made the, you know, the body oil just that much better and it made it feel so much better on my skin. I feel like it's something that you can put on right away. Like I just um, would get out of bed just to re-moisturize, put on this body oil and it just absorbs really quickly. You don't have to wait. You can just put on your clothes immediately. Unlike the body butter where you have to put it on and it takes a while to really get into your skin and to dry out essentially. So you feel like that stickiness when you're trying to put on your clothes and so it just doesn't feel comfortable. But when you put on this body oil, it will go right into your skin. It moisturizes really quickly and you can just put on your clothes, run and go. I know we're all busy. I'm, I'm busy trying to get my son ready, trying to get ready for work and leave. So you just want to be, you want to have something that's really, really quick. So the body oil can be, be something that you just um, use as an everyday moisturizer and the body butter is something you use right out of the shower so give you that nice barrier that you're looking for for your skin and then the adding the body on body oil on after to re-moisturize is really quick and easy to use and you just don't feel like that oily greasy feel that you would with body butter so I think it's a really great recipe to have um, in your product line so that people can have that option as well and you can advertise it that way because people are always looking for ways to move quickly they have a lot of things to do we're all busy so it's a really great way to advertise as well so if you want to try this recipe let me know down below if you try it how it works out for you if you're looking for a more beginner friendly because you know this channel is all about beginner friendly recipes and ways to elevate your business as a beginner definitely check out this recipe here where i have a more beginner friendly recipe and i'll catch you in the next one